The year is 2012, another year for the Olympics. The Olympics is about to begin. Wait, this day just had to happen on a windy day. It has begun! Our first event is jumping over these hurdles. But before we go on, let me explain to you how things go. Each member gets a different amount of points depending on which place he's in. The first place gets 25 points, while the second gets 20, the third gets 15, and the fourth gets dead last 10. Here are our players now! The first to be introduced is Team 1 with Rhino and Dial. Competing against them is Team 2 with Stingy and Paloxy. Morning, neighbors. Ready to complete for the Olympics? You suck in the salt lake. Hey, to the Olympics, when they come to our house for dinner? Well, um, that all depends on my- Sweet Giraffos again, and I'll make you permanently paralyzed. Alright, alright, alright. All you had to do was ask. And now the first event is about to begin. On your mark, get set, go! Rhino's in the lead, and wow, i never seen an athlete as amazing as he is. Dial's right behind him, and whoa, i never seen this reptile huddle up so many hurdles. It seems Poxy likes to do this in a slow and steady pace. I prefer not to get my clothes dirty. Uh-oh, I think Stingy is up to no good. So long, sucker! <laughs> Oh, Ayo. And that's the end of our first match. Rhino's in first, Dial is in second, Foxy's third, and Stingy is last. Now let's check the scoreboard. Rhino got first, so he got 25 points, and Dial got second, so he got 20 points. Combine them together, since they're both a team, would be 45 points. Stingy and Foxy received 15 and 10 points, which means they only have 25 points. Our next stop is the long jump. Here comes Rhino going up for the first jump. He makes the leap of faith and... Ooh! Someone has glued Rhino's feet to the ground. Now I wonder who. Man, birds nowadays. While Rhino is busy stomping to the seats, Dow takes the next round. Whoa! He's really picking the pace. On, I don't recall a rock in the middle of the run line. At least he went past his team pal's record. Why, that is unpleasantly evil. A boulder in the run line. I know, isn't that hilarious? Now get our secret weapon ready. Looks like it's a team up jump for these two. Got the ropes now. <laughs> and they both have topped over Rhino and Dial's records. Well, Poxy is a bit behind. According to the scoreboard, Rhino and Dial received 45. Now that they only scored 10 and 50, plus them all together would be 70 points. And as for Stingy and Poxy, they received 25 plus 45 as well, which means they have 70 points. So it's a tie between those two teams. You know what, Dial? He's not playing fair. At least he's good at not playing fair. Our next stop is the Javelin. Stingy is about to take his first throw. He makes one and... <laughs> What's this? <laughs> it seems Stingy is controlling an arrow with a rocket to help him win. That is, if his batteries didn't short circuit. Now the rocket has gone completely out of control! The arrow has landed at 10 inches away from Stingy. I thought I told Ploxy to recharge those batteries. Ploxy's next. Let's see what he can do. But why is he doing the tail lunge? Well, I don't like to get my paws dirty. Do you? That's his throw! 
Fifty meters. Dials up for the count. Looks like he's doing the big one. Or maybe a small one. It's only five inches away. Looks like it's up to Rhino to break the record. He makes his move. He shoots. He scores. Big. One hundred meters. A new record. Now let's go back to the scoreboard. Both teams have earned 35 points, which means it's still a tie between those two with 105 points. The fourth event might get you wet. Looks like Dial's prepared, but hey, where's Rhino? Apparently somebody has stolen my trunks. <laughs> I can see Rhino's bare butt. Not to worry, citizen. We always have a spare. Now our two teams are ready to get wet. There goes the bill! Dive in! Now that's what I call excellent swimming. Maybe next time we should add in some jellyfish for a stinging effect. Speaking of sting, where's Stingy? Now that was unexpected. Just to remind you that scorpions don't like the water. Hmm, two can play this game. This is the only way a sting and arachnid can win. Mind if I cut in? One in tarnation? How on earth does he do that? Yes, how on earth does he do that? Well, you see here, anything can happen in the cartoon. It seems that Donald and Ploxy are tied in first. Same with Rhino and Stingy in second. Both teams now have the total of 150 points. Since the swimming event was supposed to be the finale, but since it's a tie, the final event is a tug of war! Man, Stingy's stronger than I thought. Right you are, Hornhead. Yipe! Is it just me, or is that alligator actually made of rocks? So he's actually made of- I was speaking metaphorically, if you don't mind. I give up. It's up to you now, Ploxy. Looks like it's up to either Dial or Ploxy to win this game. But they're not even pulling. Ploxy, Ploxy, Ploxy. Whoa, buddy! Butterfly alert! Why is he scared of a little bug? Watch and learn. You never told me your pal was allergic to bugs. You never asked. Anyway, our team won the game, so I want my prize money. Not so fast. We've seen you cheat six times, and one of my spy cameras showed you cheating the seventh time with your strengthening chip on your elbow. Why that dirty, sneaky son of a gun? The penalty for cheating is five points, but since you cheated seven times and Ploxy got involved into one of them, your team gets minus 40 points. No! The final score for Team 1 is 180 points, and Team 2 only has 150 points. Rhino and Dial are the true winners. Yay! Oh, and uh, sorry about that, Rhino, but I had to cut out five points since you got involved into the submarine cheat. Apology accepted. Although I did win the prize money, I am generous in honor. So I'm giving Stingy a billion bucks. That's only one of a thousand of what I have. Wah, thank you. Uh, what did you say? Uh, I mean, forget you. I'm going home to spend on this cash. He has, he has a, a soft side. side. He, he just, just doesn't, doesn't want to reveal it. it.